welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun little video where I share what I picked up for my son's stocking this year. I have a three, almost four year old in February. That seems so crazy that he's almost four already. And I am also collabing on this video with my friend Maureen. She is another YouTuber from my area who I recently met at Vintage Market Days. She's super sweet and she is actually a foster mom to a almost two year old boy. So make sure you head on over to her channel and watch her video to get ideas for that age group. I will leave her video linked down below. All right, so let's just jump right into it, starting with the stocking. This one is from Target. I have one for myself and for my husband, and I actually am pregnant, if you can't tell, by this big belly. So I'm picking up another one for my daughter. I love these. They're a pretty good size. I have it stuffed right now, just so when it hangs, it like seems full. So I like these stockings because if you have a growing family, Target has them every single year so you can add on if you want to keep like the matchy matchy theme like I'm doing. Also I just feel like you can fit a lot in these. Um, I don't know, I haven't tested everything that I plan on putting in here to see if it all fits, but I am sure gonna try. <laughs> Pretty much everything I picked up from his stocking is from Target, Five Below, a couple things from TJ Maxx, and then one thing I ordered online from Amazon that I will have linked down below for you guys if you have a fellow Paw Patrol fan in your family. My son's number one thing that he wants for Christmas is just Paw Patrol everything, specifically the Mighty Lookout Tower, so that is one that I'm really excited to give him this year, but it's obviously not going in his stocking. But he did mention the other day that he wants a Paw Patrol shirt, and he has a lot of Paw Patrol PJs, but not an actual t-shirt. So I found this one on Amazon, and I thought it was really cute, like not too cartoony and colorful and in your face and crazy, but um, this just has Rubble, Chase, and Marshall, and it says, let's have an adventure together, and it's like a two-tone gray. They had all different sizes, but he is a 5T, and this was $15 on Amazon Prime. And then from TJ Maxx, I found one of these books. These are his favorite types of books. He has a fire truck one, and I believe he has one other one, but I found this dump truck at TJ Maxx, like I said. It was $4.99, and my son just loves these because they have wheels, so they can kind of use them as a toy, and then they have this little oh, Velcro thing here, and they open up, and it's a book all about trucks and things like that. So I know my son is going to love this one to add to his collection. These are also really good to travel with. I always throw it in our suitcase, and he can kind of like drive it around the plane, and then we can read it a little bit. So. I found this at TJ Maxx, but I think they also have them on Amazon as well. And then I always like to stop at the Target dollar spot to see if they have any good stocking stuffers. And I didn't find a ton of stuff this year, but I will show you what I did get. Um, this is just a $1 like plastic train. Sorry, something almost fell. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like one of those pullback trains and it goes forward. It was a dollar and he's gotten really into trains lately. So I picked this one up just as something to put in his stocking. He also loves these little paint sets. So I picked this one up. It's a penguin, really cute. It has a little Santa hat on there. And then it also includes the paint and the paintbrush. This was five bucks and I think he'll like it and it'll just be something fun for us to do. And then I usually like to add some sort of candy item to his stocking and lately he's been really into these chocolate gold coins. I think they talked about it on one of like the YouTube shows that he watches. So I saw this little bag and picked it up for him. I think it was only a dollar or two. I can't imagine it being much more. And then he loves these Kinder Joy egg things. There's like candy on one side and then there's a toy in there as well. So I picked him up one of these. And also from Target, just sticking with the Paw Patrol theme, I picked up this three-in-one body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. It's possumberry scented. I think this was like three bucks, but this is his favorite little Paw Patrol guy. And I just thought this would be fun for him to do in the bath. And this next one I got at Target as well. Um, I'm going to take it out of the box for it to fit inside his stocking but I thought this was really cool. It's from VTech and it is a Marshall Learning watch. So it kind of just opens up and you can, I don't know, it does all these things. It makes all these sounds and it has 12 clock faces. It's an alarm clock. It has a cuckoo clock, which is going to be very annoying. It has four games and apparently it teaches matching animals 
addition, subtraction, and problem solving, but my son loves wearing this little slap bracelet on his wrist, so I thought a Paw Patrol watch would be good for him and good for his age, and we'll see how all of these like features and games actually end up working out, but I believe I got this for around $12 just down like the toy aisle in Target. And then the last couple items I'm gonna show you, I found at Five Below. This is something that is a staple. I think it's such a good, easy thing to throw in any kid's stocking. It's just a little sleeve of Play-Doh, and I just picked up more of like the boy colors, but we go through Play-Doh so fast it just gets so gross and gets everywhere but my son loves it and most kids do so i always pick him up like a sleeve of these little play-doh guys and then i also got him some play-doh sets and things like that that are going to be under the tree and then another one of my go-to's for his stocking are just some of these little cars that come in a pack like this he is obsessed with these he has so many of them but they just make him really happy so i figured why not get him some more and put him in his stocking? They're a good size and he has a really good time making ramps for them and all of that stuff. And then I picked him up one of these headphones. He asked for this randomly and I don't think it's the worst idea. Um, and they had this kid safe headphones for $5 and it says volume limiting technology to protect young ears and it's just a Batman one. I would have picked up a different style but I couldn't really find um, anything else like a Paw Patrol one would have been ideal. So I thought this would be a good thing to try just to see how he likes it for five bucks and I like that you can limit how loud the volume goes because that was kind of my concern and why I haven't bought him headphones yet. And this is another one that I'm going to have to take out of the package and um, see if like there's any batteries or anything that we need to put in here but he's gonna be really excited about this one and then the last thing I picked him up to go in his stocking is this little dinosaur fan with candy it just has this little light up fan I think it was like three dollars somewhere I mean it was five below so it was definitely under five dollars and he's into dinosaurs he's not crazy into them so I only got him a couple dinosaur things this year but I figured he will love the candy that's in here and he'll at least love the fan and the fact that it can light up. All right guys, so that is everything that I got for my son's stocking this year. I was planning on also getting him a new electric toothbrush with like a Paw Patrol theme or something like that. But long story short, his electric toothbrush ended up dying a couple weeks ago. So I ended up buying him one, but I do think that's a good idea for a stocking stuffer as well. Make sure to head on over to Maureen's channel. Again, Again, I will have her video linked down below. Thanks again for watching and let me know if you like videos like this, if you want me to show you everything I got my son for Christmas before I wrap all of those presents. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.